What's going on, everybody? Head back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody, what do you say? What do you know? Hitting the real Wayback Machine. Historical edition pieces of the past. Yeah, welcome back to Throwback Thursday. Uh, I don't think we've kept up with that. Had some new releases and stuff over the last couple weeks, so this one will be for Throwback Thursday. Uh, and we did open a smaller box of this before and pulled that Abe Lincoln, which was pretty sweet. We, mm -hmm. Which sold on eBay, by the way. Uh, yeah, how much you sell it on eBay for? I don't remember. $75. You know how I remember that? Oh, how? Because I told you, you put it on eBay for like 150 bucks. I said, if you get someone to bite on that, go ahead and sell it. But if not, I'll take it for 100 bucks. And then what'd you do? You went and sold it for $75. Uh, I like how you conveniently leave stuff out, Chuck. I, I, what did I leave out? During that phone conversation, I said, you want it for 100 bucks? It's yours. Did my PayPal go to ching No, it did <laughs> not. So so I figured Chuck was just being chintzy Chuck again and talking well, shit. No, I was I was letting you try to get 150 for it. I figured if you were going to accept a lower offer, you would have came back and said, uh, hey, man, I got this offer for 75 If you don't want it, I'm going to sell it. Yeah, well... Uh, I don't know what happened, but it sat up there for all that time, Chuck. I didn't think you were serious, so my apologies. Uh, it was pretty cool. Someone was the pr proud owner. I actually didn't want to sell it. They made a couple offers, and they really wanted Oh, look at this. What is this? Fancy stuff in slabs. What is that? So, so four hit. Let me look back at this. Four cards per pack, 12 packs per box, and four hits per box. So are the hits in two in each one of those packs? I no, I haven't opened one of these, nor did I watch any on YouTube to do any research like I probably should have if I was a good YouTube content creator. <laughs> <laughs> we see how that works out, though. We just we just go through it like you would, right? Like, uh, So there we go. Four hits. So I don't know what that means. I'll give you five bucks for one of them black packs. <laughs> Negative, Ghost Rider. So this was, that, that is a good point. I think this was about 180 bucks. Uh... For this one and since we did good on the first one it was like a hundred bucks i'm like well let me double up because my disease is progressive as many of you know uh and you, you often take advantage of in the comments hey maybe we need some more of those now that you got a hit out of it right yeah <laughs> and you know i'll go buy them then chuck yells at me you know you shouldn't have done that <laughs> uh so let's see here so bar cut autos let's see aaron burr king george Oh, oh, there's that guy in his undies again. <laughs> the guy in his undies is back. Uh, there we go. James Jeffries. Chintzy Chuck didn't want to buy no clothes. <laughs> uh, Galileo. Uh, again, not numbered. Did you know uh, Galileo was a college dropout but continued his education on his own? School of Hard Knocks, Jack. Uh, Get the knife. Hit the, what? Get your knife. Oh, look at you open that one. Yeah, yeah. See there? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I think your hits are going to be in those black bags. Well, that kind of takes the excitement out of it. King Louis. Uh, yeah, it does. Jesse Owens and Michelangelo. Again, parallels but not numbered. Uh, we could learn something about Michelangelo, but uh, we. Don't. I know. Why are you burning through these? This is the educational portion of the concept. Well, Chuck, that's your job. You educate. I flip. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth of England. Oh, this guy. How many of this guy? You can make a rainbow. Of of fruit of, fruit of my loom. Yeah, what's the world trying to tell me? Keep giving me. Uh, I already collect cards with men on them. Do they have to be in their underwear? <laughs> uh, Rembrandt. Oh, that's a gold Rembrandt. A gold Rembrandt and a Teddy Roosevelt on the silver thicker stock with some shimmy shine Nobel Peace Prize in 1906 for the Treaty of Portsmouth. Teddy Roosevelt. There's lots of presidential collectors, too, that I'm sure are into this type of thing, right? Like, a lot of people collect this type of history stuff, so it's kind of cool to, to mix it up. And Chuck's a big history buff. I'm a fan of anything cool and new, so... Uh, Michelle Obama, speaking of cool and new, uh, that's newer, but we haven't seen one of those before. George H.W. Bush, jo Chuck, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. John Hancock... And a Leonardo da Vinci, red, and I don't know if that card is just beat up or if that is like uh, the, the photo they used. The photo, I think that's the photo. That's not. Yeah. On, that's not on the card. Interesting. Yeah. Leonardo da Vinci, red, 
Um, oh yeah, see the lines are on the back picture too. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Mirror the script by writing backwards uh, so you could read it normally through a mirror, but it's got some serious bow in it, uh, as those uh, chromium cards often do. Leonardo da Vinci Red. Chuck, you looking up any of this? Anything, anything worth it? No, no, is that supposed to? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some colors back here. Galileo again. Geronimo. Oh, and it's got a little autograph on the bottom of the, of the picture, so it must be whoever's art they used. Dwight D. Eisenhower. That's kind of scary. Uh, and, oh, Pieces of the Past, JFK. Oh. The shimmy well, shot. What, what's, the, what's the piece of the past? Uh, born, I don't know. It's just the it's it's just the shimmy shine. Born May 29th, nineteen seventeen, in Brookline, Massachusetts. Oh. It's just got like the gold shimmer on it. JFK. JFK. Okay. JFK shimmy shine card. Let's put that up there. All right. Uh, What's that card number? Oh, there it is. Fifteen dollars for best offer. I, I didn't. Even, refractor, gold refractor. Oh. There you go. I didn't even count the uh, the packs to see if, if those black packs count as two of the packs or not. Oh, I got a die cut coming back here. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Oh, look at that. And an Albert Einstein Pieces of the Past Shimmy Shine card refractor. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. A one of one. Oh, shit. We got a look one of one Albert Einstein. Get out of here. Albert Einstein, one of one. I'll be tell you what, every time I be hitting in these pieces of the past, Jack, <laughs> one of one. I don't care who it is, I'll take a one of one all day long. One <laughs> of one, Albert Einstein. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. On the die cut. Let me hold on, let me put my one of one up here on the. I gotta put him up on a stand. Come on, Albert. Oh, let me reach across. Big Al, as his friends used to call him. Big and it wasn't because of his big brain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Speaking of men in their underwear. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chuck. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, one of one, man. So, hey, I'm happy already. Like, if I got nothing else out of this box, I would have had fun with it, right? Like, uh, oh, I do I got another one? I got a die cut back here. Another one of one. John D. Rockefeller, Galileo, P.T. Barnum. And a pieces Barack Obama die cut, blue refractor, not one of one. <laughs> uh. Would have been a lot cooler if it was. Uh, I was watching Barack on uh, what's that show with the Dave? Dave Letterman's got a show now, and he did an interview of him, right? Like, a, well, he's got a show now. He's got his own separate show now, right after late night. And uh, I was watching. I think it's on Netflix, and I was watching him interview Barack. He's actually a pretty cool dude, right? Like when he's just chilling. Seems like, right? Uh, okay, we've got some more Shimmy Shine. Rembrandt. So the first couple packs were kind of plain. Oh, Mark Twain. Put it in my box. Mark, oh, big Mark Twain guy. Mark Twain. Put it in Chuck's box. Sir Isaac Newton and another Shimmy Shine. I guess these are two. Ludwig, Ludwig van Beethoven on the Shimmy Shine refractor. Uh, so I guess those aren't too rare. Unless we just got a hot box. What do you think, Chuck? Is it a hot box? I don't think it's a hot box. I think it's probably how it's collated. I was looking on eBay at the one of ones. Uh-huh. There's there, there there there's a bunch just different colors. Oh. Hey, there you go. John Sullivan. Sullivan helped make bare hand boxing a mainstream sport. There you mm -hmm. go. Yes he did. And Jesse Owens. Well, thanks, Chuck. <laughs> Look at the, the back of these cards do Chuck's job for him. Owens had the greatest performance during the games in 1936. He captured gold in the 100 meter, long jump, 200 meter, and 4x100 meter relay. Jesse Owens. Uh, okay, this one's going to be. I needed a little nick. Oh, oh, didn't get it good enough. Blades getting dull. Look at that. Uh, Geronimo one of one is up to uh, $21.85 with two days left. Ten bids. Look at there. Uh, Thomas Edison. Jesse Owens again. Meriwether Lewis. Uh, let's see what he did. Thomas Jefferson's Oops. secretary before going on to expedition. Oh, Lewis and Clark. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Albert Einstein. We know about him. He's a smart guy. <laughs> uh... Here we go. Oh, what do we got oh, here? Oh. That's a relic. Oh, dibs. That's a relic. William Clark. 
Lewis Pastor, Teddy Roosevelt on a gold, and a Benjamin Franklin relic. Oh, there's no writing on it though. Is that a boogie? What's it down there? Some little something. Maybe that's some. Maybe that's some Ben Franklin DNA. Maybe he sneezed on it. Oh yeah, it's like the old school paper. Ben Franklin. You what is that? Authentic relic from the past. Following types of authentic original relics: original newspapers, handwritten letters, time period manuscripts, letters and documents, land grants, presidential documents, handwritten words, books, tickets, and other relics that were attributed to the subject on the front of the card. At least, at least, unlike Panini, it was attributed to the guy on the card. <laughs> so, so that's always good. It's just a blank piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the other one had Abe Lincoln's handwriting on it, so that was kind of cool, right? But, uh, and so I don't see a hit in this, so either we got shorted a relic, or there's two in one of those, those bags there. George H.W. Bush, Abigail Adams, and Vincent Van Gogh on the blue. Uh, isn't, that, isn't that guy who cut off his ear or whatever? Van Gogh didn't start painting until he was 27 and was almost entirely self-taught. There you go. Okay, so here we go. Oh, they're like, it's just like just a bag. You just open it up, it's not even sealed. Oh, what is this? You have received an authentic relic from the past, Lincoln, Kennedy, and Luther King Jr. Whoa. The front of this card features the following types of handwritten, oh, authentic original newspapers, handwritten. Okay, so we got to see what it is. Uh, pieces, trios. Oh, look at that. Abraham Lincoln handwriting, uh, a letter from Martin Luther King, and a blank piece of paper from JFK. Uh, still kind of cool, right? Like, yeah. It's definitely in a one touch that's too thick for the card. I felt it like move when I flipped it over. Yeah, but uh, unless they're counting that one of one as one of your hits. So any of those on the on uh, on up there, Chuck? Uh, what do we got? Lincoln, Kennedy, and King. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, Sixty dollars our best offer. Same thing, a little bit of handwriting, blank piece of paper, and a piece of newspaper. Oh, there you go. Okay, last hit. Harry Houdini. Oh. Authentic relic. What is that? Is it all the way through on the back? What is that? Is it a picture? Yeah, I think that's the front of the card. Oh, yeah, it is. I thought it was the back. It's actually the front. Like, okay. Uh, anything cool in there? No less particular. Da, 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 da. Harry Houdini, authentic relic. Does it say like what it's from on the back? It looks like there's a picture of a book or something. The picture below is the actual signed certified document that the relic on the front of the card came from. We hope you enjoy your pieces of the past relic. Oh, what is it? What is it a picture of? Can you tell? Uh, I cannot, but it's like in here. I will have to look at it later with like a microscope or something and see if I can figure out what, or with a magnifying glass and see if I can figure out what that, what that, <clears throat> that, that certif certificated, cert certified letter uh, there on the side says it is. But it looks like it's got some handwritten underlining or something, right? Um, so who knows? So there we go. Harry Houdini, uh, Ben Franklin, the triplets, and a one of one Albert Einstein, and we did, Big Al. and we did not get. Let me just see it one more time because one of ones are not a relic. It just says four hits. Four hits. Okay, so there you go. Maybe that's that. Uh, all right, so there we go. Throwback Thursday, always a fun time. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thanks everybody, and we're out.